Grab your coats. We're getting ice cream. The gelato craps all this in the freezer. Really? The real enchilada. Dad said to stay here. Ugh, do you do everything that Dad says? No. When do you do everything that your dad says? No. Yeah, right. I don't. This is a take. Come on, let's go. We're closing soon. This is an ice cream. Don't be a stain. I need to make a stop first. Hey, I need to see you. Are your parents home? Yeah, I'm out front. Stay here. Keep the doors locked. There's a crowbar under the seat if anyone tries to get in. Is she gonna come back? I don't know. I want mint chocolate chips so bad. I'm gonna get strawberry. With rainbow sprinkles. And cookie dough. Whoa! Last one there, get the SpongeBob in my square pants! Cheater! <laughs> that one. Gemini. Up left, up right. It's named after twins. Did they like each other? Yeah. They loved you. I think they're ghosts spying on us. When I die, I'm going to be the biggest one. Chloe and Shasta can be down there. And you can be the twinkly star next to me. Then everyone will trace us. And we can all stay together. At the time, I didn't understand the concept of death. That one day, without warning, a person could stop existing. I found that out the hard way. Because of an accident, Carmody would be a star without us at 25. I couldn't bring myself to cry at the funeral. She would have hated that. What are you doing? Get up! He asked me to leave. Why? Because he's a boy. And they're incapable of making up their minds. They want you to do it for them, and when you do, they want something else. Remember that. Why did you like it? Think. I like the way it sounds when you say it. I didn't write it. I woke up and the words were there. I was asleep. You're so young. Guess it's my own fault. Should have made time to make friends my own age, cared enough. Never saw the point, really. Suppose you'll do a little munchkin roo? Let's play a game. Okay. What would you rather be? A peasant or a king? Peasant. Do you even know what that is? No. Well, why would you want to be something that you don't understand? I'm a king. And if I'm a king, then so are you because we're sisters. It gets passed down through blood. Bloodlines, lineage. I don't know what those are either. Say it. I'm a king. You're a king. No, I know I am. You know what I'm saying? You understand? Don't treat me like mom, deaf, dumb, Martha, homemaker, weak sauce. I fucking hate that shit. It makes me sick. Don't be weak. I'm not. Bullshit. That's her voice coming out of your mouth. Say it. Say I'm a king, as in you, Carmody. I'm a king. Again. I'm a king. Again. I'm a king. I'm sorry. What's wrong? I just... I just don't feel like myself today. Too much in my head. I'm sorry, okay?
I'm sorry. Are you sick? Yes. Are you going to die? It doesn't matter. It's too early. It doesn't matter either. Yes, it does. Listen, this is the most important thing anyone will ever tell you, because it's the truth. Are you listening? Kings created the world, the earth. Everything that exists is here because of the kings. And people are gonna tell you that that was God, that he was a king and he did all of these great things and created life and death and built cities. And it's the only person that matters. Those people, they're weak. They can't think for themselves. Nobody thinks anymore. They just do the right thing and get old and break and die because, because it's easy. That is a peasant. And it's a lie. Mom, mom and mom and dad, they don't, they don't know that they're. What does God look like? He's a little man inside a box, watching what we do from holes in the side. And he's dead. And so are the kings. And there's no hope left. And they... They killed them. And we're the only ones left. But we don't have to be alone. Scared, die alone. We can be kings together. Doesn't that sound great? That's when she started flushing the meds, disappearing for weeks, Anakin. trying to cut the sadness out of herself Anakin. with the razor blades and kitchen knives. Anakin. Our neighbors blow a torch once. Anakin. I wanted to believe everything that she said so badly that it felt like a 50 pound rock was sitting on my chest, crushing me into the dirt. My sister was a virus that infected everything that she touched. And the most important person in my life. Now she's gone and I don't know who I am.